So from here, bend my knees and I'm gonna take my band and just place it off to the side. I'm gonna roll my roller in towards me. You can get up if you'd like to. I'm gonna lift my hips and I'm gonna place my sac it right underneath my sacrum. So we're going into a little inversion. If inversion doesn't work for your spine, just skip this part. I'm prepping my arms by the side of my roller here to help hold it in place. My collarbones are open wide. I'm gonna take one leg up and then the other. From here, let's take it into our alternating toe taps. Engaging those abs. Lower and lift and switch and lift. Two more each side and lift and switch and lift one more lower and lift switch and lift i'm going to do both i'm going to take it to my heels for a little extra challenge i lower as long as i keep those abs engaged and lift and you don't want to feel it in your lower back if you start feeling it don't go any further <laughs> lift two more Now I'm gonna go into my supine spine twist. So I'm gonna lower my knees to one side, the opposite hip lifts, which is really fun thing to do on this roller this way. And then I switch it to the other side, using those obliques to help pull me back through center. So it's more your abdominal muscles are controlling this movement than your legs. So maybe you don't even need very far. Now from here, I'm gonna reach both legs up. I'm gonna lower my left leg and I'm gonna take it into my scissors. Keeping my pelvis stable. Doing that little extra stretch, maybe flex your feet or giving more of a hamstring stretch. So I'm a little bit limited here on space. So from here, you can make this as big or as little as you want. We're gonna go into a helicopter. I'm going through the lateral rotation taking it to internal. Now instead of switching my legs again, I'm just gonna go back the other way. So you're circling your legs away from each other. So keeping those abdominals engaged. Just getting that hip movement. That stretch maybe through the adductors. One more each side. And then I'm gonna bend both knees lowering my feet down lift my hips so i can roll this bum roller out and then i'm going to come up into my single leg stretch so i pull the right knee in towards my chest take the left leg out long hands to the top of my chin inhale to curl it up exhale switch inhale switch and exhale and inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more each side Let's take it into a crisscross, rotating the torso. Pelvis is still stable. One more each side. And then we'll hug the knees in towards our chest. So I lift my sacrum and I'm rolling my roller away. Now I'm gonna carefully move my roller out of the way. Now you can grab your bands again for this. We're going to go into some roll-ups. Or you can do this without your bands. I'm going to take both feet onto my band about a hip distance apart and then lengthen them out onto my mat. Holding onto the bands and this is going to help use the abdominals to do this roll-up. I inhale to prepare and then I exhale and dump my chin towards my chest and slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time and bend your elbows to help and come up to a nice seated position and then we're going to roll it down one vertebra at a time think about creating traction through your spine as you do this keep the shoulders away from the ears just gently press down let's do a couple more okay forward as you roll it down Head comes all the way down. This last one, roll it up. Release the band. And let's take a stretch forward. So 
reset the spine, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall unless it's bumped. I want you to imagine someone's pulling you back here with your abs, reach it forward. And now from here, just relax it down. Take a couple breaths. We'll reset the spine. And we're gonna come into our mermaid next with our thumb roller. So you can have your V sit, or you can take it into your Cleopatra, or just have your legs out slightly bent in front of you, whatever feels good to you. I'm gonna take my wrist just slightly in front of my thumb roller. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, we roll up and over as we roll out. Inhale to come up, exhale, we open. Inhale, lift. Exhale as you roll it out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Let's do one more, so three to this side. Now from here, let's go a little tight here, so I'm gonna take my leg out in front of me. So if you do get any cramping, you can move. You don't have to push yourself to hold it. Let's rotate away from our thumb roller, keeping both hips down and square. And then exhale, we'll come back through to our center. Now from here, we're gonna move that roller out of our way again. And we're gonna come to laying down. And let's take our uh, resistance band with us and let's do some side line work. So I'm gonna take my band onto my top leg as I come to lay down. And I'm gonna take my head onto my hands. Now you can take the other leg long if you'd like, or you can have it bent in, my leg slightly in front of me, towards the front corner of my mat. And I'm just gonna start taking out a hip height, parallel. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Just finding a nice position that feels okay to you. Finding that hip height, let's inhale, bend the knee in. Exhale, press it up. And that band's just giving a little extra resistance here. You feel that knee's pointing straight forward. Let's do one more. And then let's take an inhale to sweep the leg forward. And exhale to sweep it back, keeping those hips stacked one on top of the other. Try not to let that leg lower and lift it sweeping straight forward, straight back at the same height. Find that hip height again. This time let's laterally rotate that top leg. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, press it down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, press it down. My abs are still engaged here. Two. The last one. I'm gonna take it a little over hip height and I'm gonna go into my in and outs here. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Last one, and let's do little circles for each direction. Check to make sure that those hips are still stacked. And then reverse, so just about dinner plate size. Bend the knee towards your chest. Take that band off. Relax that leg down if you're feeling it here. Just give it a little rub or pound here. We're going to carefully come up and we're gonna to go to the other side. So taking that band off, switching it out for my thumb roller. I'm gonna go into my mermaid. So we do three here. Inhale to lift. Exhale as you press up and over. Inhale, lift, exhale, that arm open. Last one. And then I'm gonna rotate away from my foam roller. Moving that foam roller out of the way. Getting my resistance band coming into my side line on my other side now. And traveling. Coming to lay down. 
same way that I was on the other side. I'm really making sure that I'll be as even as possible, even though I'm terrible at counting and didn't at all. Finding that top leg, parallel hip stack. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So you're doing about five to six of each of these. Because this flow isn't about getting really so much a workout as it is about getting the movement here. Inhale, deep bend the knee in. Exhale, press it out. So it's like a gentle warm up, gentle workout. And then it's more about the stretching and releasing. So two, one more. Inhale, sweep it forward. And then exhale, sweep it back, keeping those hips stacked. are still engaged. Shoulders aren't coming up to our ears. Let's make this our last one. Take that leg slightly forward and let's laterally rotate. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Hips are still stacked. It's a little bit higher than the hip and then inhale bend. Exhale, press. We'll make that the last one. Four circles in one direction. And then you'll reverse it for four. Bend that knee in towards your chest to take your foot off of that resistance band. You can rub the side of your hip here if you need to. And then we're gonna come up onto our hands and our knees. So I'm gonna take the band and lengthen it out with my mat. And I'm going to start with my left, but you can start with your right if you'd like to. I'm gonna take my left knee and place it on top of that band and I'm going to find my four ped position here. So knees are underneath hips and wrists are right underneath my shoulders. We're going to take it into our bird dog. Let's get back just a little bit here. And you want to have just enough tension here that as you pull your arm forward that it doesn't feel like it's pulling too much or too little, just a little bit of tension. So let's reach that arm forward and then just lift the arm and lower the arm for two. And if you'd like to, you can add in that opposite leg and let's lift the foot and just find your balance. Abs are engaged. If you're good here, let's pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, touch down, pull it in, and then we're going to switch it to the other side, so just move the band over, and just find that right tension for you, that's good, so I'm going to reach that arm out, and just lift and lower it for two, Pull that arm forward, opposite leg goes back really square off, and then lift it up and just find that balance. Square it off, abs engage. Pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Catch it down, pull it back in. Let's take the knees apart and press it back into its little child's pose here. We're gonna come up and we're gonna find our plank. So we're just gonna hold it for about 15 or 20 seconds. You can hover the knees, take it into your long plank, whatever works for you today. When you're ready, take an inhale and find your plank, exhale. Abs engage, tuck the tail slightly. Make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulders. 
hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let's pull one knee in, then the other. Either take it back into your child's pose or just sit back and relax your relax your wrists if you're up on your wrists. Now from here, I'm gonna grab my roller again. I'm gonna go into some prone work. You can just take your band off to the side. And I'm gonna lay down on my mat. And my legs are distance apart or about as wide as the mat, laterally rotating. Pressing your pubic bone down into the mat and engaging your glutes. Let's take it into a little bit of a swan here. My hands are on my roller. My shoulders are pressed down and away towards my back pockets. Gaze is down. Pull the belly button in towards your spine. Take an inhale as you take the gaze forward. And then exhale, we roll up. Take a slight extension. And then inhale, pick up. Exhale to roll down. Inhale to prepare the shoulder blades come together and back towards your back pockets. Exhaling as you come back down. One more. We'll come back down. Take your hands off of your roller. Tuck the toes. Let's press it up and take it into our child's pose again. Now we're going to come and we're going to face side one last time. And let's take it down into our forearms and take the knees and just stack them. We'll just take a little side plank to each side, pulling up, making sure you don't collapse into this side, and then just press it up and we'll hold here. I'm engaging my glutes. Three, three, two, one. And we'll take it to the other side. I'm just gonna swing around. And then when you're ready, press it up. Three, two, one. We'll lower it down. Come to a seated position and grab a hold of your foam roller. And we're gonna lay back down onto our backs and take your feet back onto that foam roller. Now you can do this without your feet on the foam roller. We're gonna go into a little bit of bridge work here. Oh, pressing those arms down by side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as we roll it up one vertebra at a time. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll it down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone's the last thing to touch. Inhale, prepare, exhale to roll it up. Inhale at the top and then exhale, slowly roll it down. Checking to make sure all ten toes are forward. Knees are reaching away. Let's do one more. We'll hold it up here. Let's touch down all the way. Inhale, touch. Exhale, lift. Really engage the back side of your body. Three, two. Last one. Take it all the way down. Let's take it into a figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. So you can pull it in. Make sure that you're not compressing your joint here by taking your hands to the outside. If you take it underneath, it's a little bit nicer. And gently press the other leg back if that helps. And then switch it to the other side. Take a couple breaths here. We're gonna roll up for this one. So this time I'm gonna take my hands to my shins here. And I'm going to pull my knees slightly apart. You're going to press your shins into your hands and your hands into your shins. Curl the neck and shoulders up around through the spine, really press into those hands to roll it up to a seated position here. Good. Now from here, we're going to stretch a little bit. So I'm going to take my right heel onto my foam roller and I'm just going to let my left leg relax down and it can go off to the side a little bit if that feels any better to you. 
kneecaps up towards the ceiling and let's just take a stretch forward. You can also do this without your foot on the foam roller. You can just be down on the mat. Again, a nice stretch through the back side of your leg. Now from here, I'm gonna take my left leg behind me. I'm gonna pull the foam roller in, that was fun. <laughs> and I'm gonna line my shin up on that foam roller here. And if it feels okay, you, you can also stretch this leg back behind you. We're just gonna stretch forward over our leg. Hopefully you feel this in the outside of your hip, the leg that's on that foam roller. Careful to come up. I'm gonna take that leg on my face sideways. And my leg is slightly in front of me, so my heel's in front of my hip. And my kneecap is up towards the ceiling. And I'm just gonna take a little stretch forward. And it's stretching right here through my adductors, through my hamstrings. And whatever stretch you're doing, no matter how far you go, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you're really breathing, taking that full breath in and out. Let's come up. Let's switch it to the other side. So I'm starting with my heel on. Square to my foam roller, my knees up towards the ceiling, and I just take that forward fold. Taking a couple breaths here, relaxing into it. And then I'm gonna come up, pull that leg in, take the other leg behind me, again it can be stretched out long. Shin is lined up on that foam roller and I stretch forward. Carefully come up. Now I'm gonna turn and face away from you. And I'm gonna reach that leg out long, making sure that that heel is in front of me. Kneecaps up towards the ceiling and I forward fold. And this side's tighter, so I'm having trouble getting down this far on this side. And every time I exhale, I'm just gonna think about it just relaxing so that I can go maybe a little bit further. Maybe it's not noticeable. And I carefully come up, take my leg off. I'm gonna come into a now and kneeling position. One more stretch here. So my knees are apart. I'm sitting back on my heels and I'm gonna take my hands onto my foam roller. So just my fingers are touching, shoulders are pressed down. I'm gonna take it into my child's pose just so I reach forward. Take a couple breaths here. And then I'm gonna tuck my tail around through my spine as I come up to a seated position. And let's do one more. Rolling it out. A couple of breaths, making sure that those shoulders stay away from my ears. Abs are still engaged. And then exhale, tuck it, roll it all the way up. So however you feel comfortable with your abs are still engaged. Let's take the palms out. Just relax down, close your eyes and just breathe here. And just release any tension. So if you're feeling any muscles gripping, start at your head and your eyes. Just relax. Take a couple breaths thinking about maybe if you find a spot that's extra tense, just think about it relaxing for a couple breaths and then move on. You can take as long as you need here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And hopefully you do feel more relaxed and I'll see you next time.